Hey everybody, what's going on and welcome to Guns N' Roses Central and we're doing another episode of Guns N' Roses True Stories. So the episode that we're going to be talking about today is all about the Use Your Illusion artwork. Now I've always loved the artwork on Use Your Illusion and it's got an interesting background to it. So without me talking anymore, here's Axel describing um, the artwork for Use Your Illusion. Well, our special edition with Axel tonight, Davina is on the line in Springfield, Missouri listening to US 97. Welcome to Rockline, Davina. Yo. Um, I'm choking you, sir. I love you guys, and I think Guns Roses is the coolest band ever. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I have a question. Who is the artist who did your cover, and why did you pick that painting? Um, it's an artist by the name of Mark Gustavi, and I picked that painting because I was like, I was really tired, and I was having dinner somewhere, and there was an art gallery across the street, and I went like, well, I've never walked into an art gallery before and been able to afford something. <laughs> you know, and I went in and I happened to know this guy who um, had worked with Billy Idol and he was working there. And uh, I wandered around and then I walked into the office when no one was around and they had all these other paintings. And I had just written uh, Locomotive where it said I bought me an illusion and I put it on the wall and I found this painting that I really liked. And then I looked at the back and the title was Use Your Illusion. And, uh, it was just kind of like meant to be, and it was like the first painting that I've ever bought. And um, took it home, and it took everybody a little while to warm up to it. But, uh, you know, and uh, everybody finally got into it, and then Slash decided that it said a lot, you know, and we agreed as a band that it, it was pretty cool. And I also wanted to use that picture because it was art. Um, it was art that has a lot of controversy around it because of Kostabi's methods of it, of a uh, of actually doing the paintings, the background was taken from from a very old painting, but it's still something really nice to look at. And it's I don't know how I feel about how it was done. I just know I like it. So to me, that's kind of like with songs when you got like when they're using a tape or they're using tape machines to create things. Sometimes that's a problem. Other times it's like well maybe that's how they need to get it done and you get to hear the song. You know, so that's why I liked this particular cover. A lot of reasons. Oh man, there you plus go. it was like a cover like to go to go to people that I could go and well, Guns N' Roses is just as obnoxious or whatever, and I'm like going, yeah, well, why don't you put this nice picture in your house, you know, <laughs> sitting there, you know? <laughs> Try that. You yeah. know, didn't expect that from us, did you? <laughs> Davina, thanks for the call. It turned out to be a real good one. We've got Bill on the line now in Milledgeville, Illinois, 97X in Davenport, Iowa, is what Bill is listening to. So the cover is derived from a painting from Raphael called The School of Athens. So this is the original painting, and the part you see circled in blue is the basis of the cover for the Use Your Illusion albums. So it's the work of Estonian-American artist Mark Kostabi, which Axel referenced in the interview I played you guys. And apparently Kostabi had already made the stylized detail of Raphael's painting, which he called Use Your Illusion, before GNR made their album. So Axel bought the painting and liked it so much that, of course, it became the album cover. So Axel had become actually enthused by Mark Kostabi. He was a controversial New Yorker who had taken Andy Warhol's idea of Art Factory to a new level, opening a studio called Kostabi World and having teams of assistants turn out thousands of paintings. So Axel really fell in love with his work, says Alan Niven, who was Guns N' Roses' manager at the time. But Niven said, but the thing about Mark Kostabi was that he was playing the art bullshit game. He had other people paint basic backgrounds, and then he stole images from classic paintings and stuck them on the backgrounds. Axel loved his conceit, loved that he was what he was doing, and bought these paintings that he wanted to use for the covers, and he paid a fortune for them. The Use Your Illusion sleeves were based on a detail from Raphael's painting, School of Athens. It was a priceless Renaissance masterpiece that hangs in the Vatican. So it was completed in 1511, which, as Alan Niven swiftly realized, meant that it was out of copyright by several centuries. And Alan Niven said, I'm looking at it and thinking, great, when it comes to merchandising, we don't have to even pay Kostabi or anybody else a dime. These things are in the public domain, says Niven. These images that Axel paid a huge fortune for, he could have basically had for free. It's always made me smile to think of Axel writing a huge check to this guy, Kostabi, when he could have had Del James paint similar backgrounds, cut out the same image, stick it on, and give Del a six-pack. So Kostabi was actually interviewed uh, several times over the past you know, s number of years, and he was, of course, asked about Guns N' Roses. And here's what he had to say about Guns N' Roses using his artwork. So the 
interviewer asked, you've painted covers for Guns N' Roses album, Use Your Illusion 1 and 2. Would you like to tell us something about this experience? He said it was fantastic. Axl Rose walked into Hanson Gallery on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills and bought a painting called Use Your Illusion. My brother Paul Costabi gave the title. Axel's manager called me and said Axel was writing songs about illusions and wanted to use the painting on his new album and also wanted my title to use your illusion. We negotiated a happy deal and it made rock history, 36 million albums sold, and it helped me get a few beautiful young girlfriends. And then uh, he was doing a fan question and answer and he was asked, what was your first thought when Axel asked about using the user illusion for an album cover? And he said, awesome. And then he was also asked, the band was considered underground or grunge or alternative. In other words, did that cross your mind? that it would give you credibility then. And he said the band was already huge and I knew that it would put me in another stratosphere of exposure. I knew that it would give me more credibility with younger general with the general public, but I was surprised to discover the owner of the 303 gallery suddenly showed me a little admiration and respect. And then he, he, the last question was, any thoughts today looking back at the album cover art? He said, I'm glad my signature is clearly visible and since my painting is an interpretation of a detail from Raphael's School of Athens, it gives me an amusing personal doorway into learning more about art history. And Kostabi's also had his artwork appear on other bands' albums, including Seether, uh, their album Holding On To Strings, Better Left To Fray, and the Ramones' 1995 album Adios Amigos, and he's worked with a number of other lesser-known bands as well.